Hey everybody, Jake here. This week I've talked to quite a few customers who all had similar questions, and that was, how can I create a horizontal flange? Which is a good question because with the flanges that we have, both the adjustable angle flange and the standard flange, we call it, uh, the pipes are made to either come you know, straight out of the flange, or if it's the adjustable angle, you know, it can go a certain degree out of that adjustable base. But in a lot of projects, like a canopy or something like that, you might need a horizontal pipe that runs the length of your canopy, for example, and you need a way to attach it. And there's a few different ideas that we had and even some solutions shared by community members. So we're gonna kind of go through and talk about a few ideas that we had and what we came up with. And the first one here is uh, an interesting one. This is the standard flange with the end clamps from the adjustable angle uh, 180 hinge and flange connector, one on each side with a horizontal pipe coming out of it. So you can imagine you would attach your base to the flat surface, then you have a horizontal pipe coming out of each end. And as you can see, it's a pretty low profile solution. There isn't much of a gap between the surface and the conduit coming out of it, which is good and might be necessary for your specific project uh, because you know other solutions like this one is gonna be a really big gap between the flat surface. Uh, so this is a good option for you, and it's strong. Uh, you know, you would just attach it to your flat surface, so like the side of your house, uh, if it was a canopy, and then you have your horizontal pipes coming out of it. And as you can see, the center pipe in there really isn't necessary um, because the flanges squeeze, the flange pieces squeeze down on the end clamps just fine and provide good uh, strength there and good clamping force. So that's the first option. Next up, very similar to that. Oh, there's a voice crack. <laughs> Next up is. Uh, something kind of similar, except this time we're utilizing the middle pipe. So there's a piece of conduit coming through the middle of the flange, as you can see there, like normal. But it's just cut really short to kind of sit flush with the 180 degree connector. And so very similar to the last one, uh, it's a 180 degree uh, connection with, you know, the other one was just empty in the middle. But this one has a pipe in the middle, and that's what the 180 is attached to. And of course you can see... There's a bigger gap between the, the conduit and the flat surface, uh, which may be okay depending on how much of a gap you want between the material and the, the horizontal pipes. Uh, so this is another option with a 180 degree connector, and I just threw an end cap in there just to kind of clean up the connection a little bit. But this is a standard flange connector with a pipe coming out of it and a 180 degree connector attached to that middle pipe with a horizontal pipe coming out of each end. And that's another solution and that actually brings up a good point I just thought of it doesn't have to be I guess necessarily horizontal you could say have this attached to a wall and then have the 180 going vertical so then you have a pipe you know coming out of the bottom and the top I guess it'd be kind of the same orientation really uh, but that's another way it doesn't have to necessarily be horizontal I guess it just uh, might be a, a good way to you know have a really low profile connection uh, that you know have pipes that run parallel to the surface that you're securing them to but that's option number two. Next up is a solution that I really like the idea of, but it doesn't really work that well because basically this is a puzzle piece clamp attached to an adjustable angle base. And because both the adjustable base and the puzzle piece clamp are made to squeeze a, an end clamp inside of the two halves, they don't really mesh well together. So what I've had to do is use five washers in between the halves and then kind of uh, as you can see, layer it. So, you know, one puzzle piece on the outside, base, five washers, puzzle piece, and then base. Uh, so, as I said, it's not the, the greatest solution. I think it looks cool, but also something too is for this one, you'd have to get a longer bolt, probably at least a 30 millimeter bolt in order for it to go through all four pieces there and the washers. So, I think it is a cool solution, but uh, may not be uh, the right one based on the amount of work you have to do to get it to work. But I wanted to mention it because like I said, I think it looks cool. But very similar to that is a T-connector solution. So this is the standard base that we saw with the adjustable uh, or with the adjustable ends, the first one, and the 180, same base. But this time we're utilizing that vertical pipe coming out of it to go up and this T-connector, the bottom half of the T-connector clamps onto it and then has the horizontal pipe running continuously through the T-connector. And again, this is another option that I like a lot. The only downside of this option is the amount of gap that you have between the pipe and the material that you're attaching to, which may be a necessary thing uh, based on 
you know, you're, let's, let me keep using the canopy example, but let's say you have a, a, you know, your wall that you're securing the canopy to, and then you might have a roof that overhangs anyway and comes down. So maybe that gap doesn't really matter, um, but it's just something to kind of factor in when you're thinking about these solutions. And uh, yeah, that's, this is another simple one that I like. Very similar to this one, except it just has that bigger gap. But the last two are not combination of our connectors, but actually something really cool that was shared recently by a community member who built a canopy. And I really like these solutions because they're not only good options for doing something like this, a horizontal pipe connected to a flat surface, but also allows you to do something really unique. One of them does at least. These are curtain rod holders. There it goes. And they're made to mount curtain rods on the ceiling. So they're, they're pretty strong. I think they're rated up to 20 pounds each. So you can imagine that the more you have, the stronger they'll be able to hold. But you know, as you can see, it's got the base uh, with the holes pre-drilled so you can secure this to a flat surface, I guess even a ceiling like it's made for. It came with anchors and all kinds of stuff, which was nice. And the diameter is one inches and the outside diameter of three quarter inch conduit is 0.922. So it works really well and slides over top of it. And of course there is a little bit of a gap, um, but the builder that shared this solution actually utilized this for something really cool. So they had a bunch of these tacked onto the side of their house in series, but then they wanted the canopy to be adjustable, wanted the angle of the, the tarp and everything that was attached to be adjustable. So this technically hinges inside of the flange. So basically they had a bunch of these attached to their wall and they could adjust the whole canopy and the angle of it just by simply rotating it. And then whenever it was connected to the deck, uh, it had different notches that you could put it in and secure it in place. So that's really cool. But they also have an option that has a set screw and it's kind of ugly in my opinion. I mean, I wish they would have had a set screw on both sides so you could kind of have it evenly spaced out, but the set screw pushes it, the conduit against one wall, and then kind of secures it, and, um, and, and it looks okay, and I think it works, works well, and uh, yeah, it's not the strongest solution, but it does provide, you know, some force and friction on there, definitely more than this one, which can move freely, but those are cool solutions, and like I said, I think they're rated for up to 20 pounds, so it could be a potential solution that when you have a bunch of them in series, provides plenty of strength for your canopy or whatever it may be. But that's all the solutions I wanted to share with you guys. We had a few people that asked about this kind of a solution throughout the week. So just wanted to, to share it with other people in case somebody else had the same question. That's all I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more weekly videos and build ideas. Thanks everybody. We'll see you in the next video.